Cups, the former lead singer of Anthrax, Joey Belladonna, is out on his own and in Dallas recording his first album. When I try and talk to you, you don't even hear a lie. Well, I just don't know if I'm gonna live or die. It's heavy. But it's also melodic, it's the voice, you know, I mean, there's a lot more vocal than I had with Anthrax. A hard, aggressive, and melodic. It's real melodic, great songs. Uh, it's different than what Joey used to do um, in his former life. His former life? Lead singer of Anthrax. I'm quite delighted to be doing what I'm doing right now. I mean, you got a lot of freedom to... I mean, express yourself a little bit more. Before, I was kind of kind of in the background. Being in the foreground means putting together your own band. Joey called me, and I, I've known him for a while because I was a guitar tech for Anthrax. And he gave me a call with a phone. And there I am. And picking your own management. Our management that uh, we have at this point in time, which Gordon Perry and uh, Ken Chanchamino from the East Coast, they have the studio here for us. It's a good uh, opportunity to come down and record. These guys are prepared. I came in with uh, great songs, and they rehearsed for mm -hmm. three months in Turkey. Belladonna, the name of the band, as well as Joey's last name, will complete recording their first album in a record nine weeks. Try to get as much of it live as possible. Uh, bass, drums, guitar, vocals, and you go back and critique them and replace things. Belladonna, the album, is scheduled for a March release, then a tour which will include songs from Joey's Anthrax days. If they want to remember me as Anthrax, I mean, everybody remembers other people in their, in their past, and, and as long as it's a good remembering, you know, but I, they definitely will remember that, and now they'll see this, and maybe they'll carry that on with this. And you thought I only liked country music.